we have a new term, which is the impulse control disorder, which is mostly associated with dopamine agonist use. So you have to be a little bit careful uh, with high doses of dopamine agonist that I used in previous times too often, I have to admit. And then I have seen hypersexuality, gambling, and other features that are certainly not good uh, for the quality of life of our patients and are destructive to caregivers and to family um, heterogeneity. Uh, homogeneity. So uh, impulse control disorders are very important. We have also seen that um, we, on the other hand side, can improve uh, symptoms such as uh, mood disturbance, cognitive decline, also obsti consti obsti constipation. Uh, even uh, in some cases, uh, you see an improvement of the loss of um, smell uh, by, for instance, rasagilin. Then we have found out that long-acting dopamine agonists are helpful to counteract sleep problems. And so, uh, as you indicate, in, in, uh, during the last years, uh, non-motor features have become very important. And luckily, not all of them, but many of those we can improve by our modern treatment.